Stroke is a debilitating, deadly, and costly disease. Over 150,000 people in the U.S. die from strokes each year. 30% of people suffering their first stroke will have permanent physical or mental impairment. Americans will spend $62 billion this year to pay for stroke-related care. To optimize recovery from a stroke event, you need to receive care at an emergency department when the first symptoms of stroke appear. You have your best chance of making a recovery if treatment is received within three hours of the first symptoms of onset. Dispatchers at the Santa Cruz County 911 call center and emergency crews are there to help you and provide the techniques and procedures that offer you the best chance of survival. Calling 911 immediately gets the emergency crews to bring the ER to you. The crews can then deliver you to the appropriate hospital where you can continue to receive life-saving care. Some of the warning signs of stroke are numbness or weakness on one side of the body, trouble speaking or understanding speech, loss of vision in one eye, a sudden severe headache, or unsteadiness, dizziness, or unexplained falls. Not all of the warning signs have to be present for you to suspect stroke. Some strokes present with only one symptom or very subtle signs. If you think someone may be having a stroke, you can perform a very simple four question or FAST test. Face. Ask the person to smile. Does one side of their face droop? Arms. Ask the person to raise their arms out in front of them. Does one arm droop down or drift out to the side? Speech. Ask the person to repeat a simple sentence. Are their words mumbled? Is their speech slurred? and did they forget part of the sentence? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, the fourth question is time. When did the patient begin having these symptoms? Call 911 immediately if you or another person has any of these signs or symptoms. Emergency crews bring advanced cardiac and stroke care to your door. Early access to 911 provides you with the best chance of survival and decreasing permanent damage from strokes and heart attacks.